Well, the brand new 143-bed B County Jail is only housing 91 prisoners tonight, but the B County Sheriff, Alden Southmaid, says he expects that number to go way up in the coming months. Tonight, our Michael Gibson takes us on a virtual tour of that new facility. I can sit here at my desk and monitor the jail and the sheriff's office on cameras. And then also I, I can put it up on this big screen TV to, uh, to help monitor it. That's B County Sheriff Alden Southmade. He agreed to take us on a tour of his brand new sheriff's department and jail complex through Zoom. The sheriff moved his operations into the new $25 million facility last June. One that has all of the modern conveniences and security he said were missing in the old rundown jail. We actually have air conditioning that our big concern is not getting too cold. Um, <laughs> we have doors that work, you know, at the other facility. We were on the news a couple times that one time we had our, our jail administrator actually got locked in a cell with some inmates. Uh, one of them that was uh, that was fighting. And no one got hurt, but he got locked in there. The doors, they were just antique and uh, constantly breaking down. It was a real safety issue. On our virtual tour, we got a behind the scenes look that most people don't ever get to see. Here's the new courtroom inside this facility. He says it's a huge improvement over the system they had in their old building. Before we would have to take the JP or the judge into the jail. And, and this is just a much better situation. We were also able to see where all the laundry has to be done and, of course, the huge kitchen to be able to feed everyone. Okay, first of all, it's probably four times the size of the other one. So they have a lot more room, more tables, more prep tables. Uh, the, the cooking facilities, as far as the stoves, they have twice as much to work with. And plus, it's just more modern and does a better job. This is video from inside one of the jail cells. You can see bunk beds have been set up, and there's also a table there for inmates to use. Right now, the facility only has 91 inmates, even though it can hold 143 men and women. The population has been kept low, according to the sheriff, because of COVID concerns. It actually did slow down a little bit, um, but a lot of that population being down is because of COVID. We were trying to keep it lower to keep the COVID out of the jail. Um, now we've relaxed a lot of the restrictions on arrest, and so it's climbing. Uh, we'll, I, I expect to be up around 100, 125 by, uh, as a daily population by, by summer. And he feels that this facility will easily handle the expected increase in inmates over the next few months. That's because he says he not only has the manpower to handle more prisoners, but the latest technology and security to ensure everything runs as smoothly as possible inside this place. Michael Gibson, 3 News.